wow, sobrang kapal naman ng nilagay niya ng sunscreen sa mukha niya. Parang over naman yung nilagay niya ng sunscreen. But you know what, actually, Don't? may naalala lang ako na kwento, no? Kasi dati yung husband ko, ayaw niya talaga mag-sunscreen. Kasi, um, before, nung bata pa kami, I think yung binigay ko sa kanya yung physical sunscreen. And you know, naman ako, physical sunscreens look very white, di ba? So, this is actually one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like putting on sunscreens. Kasi, nagmumukha silang, ano, Hulk daw. Sabi ng asawa ko, no, Ben, mga naman ako si Hulk. Parang greenish yung tinge ng, ano. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Gail, and whether it's about dermatology or sharing a piece of my personal world, I'm here to bring knowledge and authenticity straight to you. So for this episode, kasi parang nagustuhan niyo yung nagreact ako sa mga videos, so syempre dahil nagustuhan niyo and we really respond to what you guys like, we're doing another round. And again, sinurprise na naman ako ng team ko. Hindi ko, na, hindi ko na naman nakita yung mga videos para daw genuine na naman yung reaction ko. So, I'm sorry na lang kung yung iba magugulat kayo, pero sabay-sabay lang tayo magugulat dito, okay? So, I'm going to play the first video. Okay. So, here, makikita nyo yung um, arms ni Sir. It's much darker and more leathery than yung thighs niya kasi sabi dito, hindi siya lumalabas ng walang pants. Alam nyo guys, this is true ha. Some of you might think na parang ano to, uh, Photoshop or makeup kasi yung lolo kong ganyan. My grandfather was a fisherman. So ganun din siya. Hindi siya lumalabas ng walang pants. Actually, mahilig siya magsando. Alam nyo yung mga lansya, yung mga, alam mo yun, hindi ko alam kung or baka bicol ba yun. And... Ganun yung ginagawa niya his whole life. In fact, nagkaroon siya na para mga actinic keratosis on the arms. Pero pag tinanggal mo yung shirt niya, kasi lagi siya naka-t-shirt, ganyan na ganyan. So, naniniwala ako dito. And this highlights the importance of sun protection. Hindi lang yung pagbayad ng sunscreen, but also using protective clothing, like mga long sleeves, ganyan, hat, etc. So, this guys, uh, very true yan. So, ganyan yung mangyayari sa inyo kung magbilad kayo sa araw at hindi kayo naglalagay ng sunscreen or nag employ ng sun protection. Okay, now we go to the next video. Actually, masakit to. Yung injection sa nose. Hindi ko pa na-try, pero I actually do this treatment to treat nasal flaring. Yung mga, alam mo yung panagsasalita sila, gumaganan yung, yung nose nila. And they want to control it. Or like yung mga panagsasmay ng laki-laki ng nostrils. I actually have a video about this. Here sa TikTok and then sa IG, I have a video about Botox. They call it Botox rhinoplasty. I don't know why. But when you inject toxins here, it relaxes the muscle, so hindi siya nag-flare. So, yung ply ko sinasabi sa patients ko, it's not effective for everyone. It will only work if your nasalis muscles actually do that, kung lumalaki talaga siya. Kung hindi naman, kahit mo mag-inject ka ng toxins dyan, hindi siya mag-work. So, yes, this is quite painful, but tolerable naman, kasi hindi naman ganun katagal yung pain na malaramdaman mo. Goodbye, TikTok. Bakit siya nag-goodbye sa TikTok? May tears pa. Ah, okay. This looks like a laser surfacing treatment. So, makikita nyo yung parang grid marks. Para siyang may mga dot dot. So, I would, ayan, ayun, nakalagay dun second sesh of CO2 laser surfacing. So, yes guys, you can expect that uh, after your CO2 laser surfacing. Depende na lang kung ano yung gagamitin na energy, tapos ilang passes. But, if you notice, dun sa this side niya ng face, sa left side, medyo may parts na parang nagbe-bleed. So, that could be um, a second or third pass and maybe stronger energy of the laser. Kaya siya ganun. And that's usually done dun sa mga areas na mas malalalim yung scars. Hindi ko alam, pwede rin naman silang mag-employ ng ibang ano. But sinabi kasi dun, CO2 eh. So, not all CO2 laser surfacing will look like that. But kung ginamihan mo yung passes mo or tinasan mo yung energy mo, that's very, very possible. And... Usually, ginagawa namin yan pag merong mga parts and areas na mas malalim yung scars. 
So what you have to remember when you're doing CO2 laser surfing, you really have to do sessions. As in, series talaga siya. Hindi pwedeng, okay, doc, nakadalawa na ako, ba't walang nangyayari? Hindi ganun. Um, usually, sinasabi ko sa patients ko, anywhere from 6 to 12 sessions, depending on the severity of your scar, the type of, of scars that you have, kung box scar man yan, ice pick, or rolling, etc. So, yun, I wish you luck. Tuloy mo lang yan. mag improve yung scars mo. My face before I take isotretinoin. I only use facial wash, moisturizer, and sunscreen. So, as you can see here, um, the patient has severe acne. Um, yung buong face niya involved. Tapos, postular talaga siya. And, dito yung prescribed sa kanya ng... I assume prescribed sa kanya ng, ng doctor to kasi, yeah, with prescription from my derma. Ayan. So, nag-start siya ng May. And... After three months, oh, ba? Good responder siya. So, gusto ko na, ano, in-emphasize niya na prescription. Kasi, guys, although isotretinoin is very effective talaga for treating acne, it's not something that you should take on a whim. Na parang, oy, nakita ko gumaling siya with isotretinoin, inumin ko siya. Kasi, marami siyang possible side effects, especially sa mga babae. But it is, like, one of my favorites na binibigay pag moderate to severe acne. Kaya lang, a warning ko lang is please, please, please don't take it without consulting. Kasi kailangan ma-explain sa inyo kung ano tamang dose, kung gano'ng katagal mo siya iinumin, tapos kung ano yung mga i-watch out for mo, ano yung mga bawal. So, yun guys. I'm very, very happy for for him kasi three months pa lang, sobrang ganda na. And ang isa pa dyan, uh, usually when we prescribe isotretinoin, we give a duration of treatment. And even if after three or four months, maganda na yung skin mo, you have to complete the duration kasi ang nangyayari dyan, pag tinigil mo siya, pag umanda na yung skin mo, mataas yung recurrence rate. I'm very, very happy with this results and gusto ko talaga na in-emphasize niya na prescription siya from a dermatologist. Kasi guys, yung isotretinoin, hindi mo siya mabibili ng basta-basta dapat ha. Meron kami pinapapirmahan na waiver and all kasi isotretinoin is not something that you can just take on a whim. Not because yung friend mo gumanda yung balat, Ang uh, may reason kung bakit siya prescription only and may reason din kung bakit nagpapapirma kami ng waiver before you take it. Kasi, unang-una, the medication is processed in your liver. Normally, before we give it to you, we take your physical history, we take your medical history, and minsan, nag-request kami ng lab test. So, this depends on the dosage we plan to give you and kung meron ka mga ibang ininom na gamon. So, guys, I really, really highly recommend that before you decide, uh, take ni isotretinoin, kailangan with the guidance of your dermatologist. Actually, you should decide taking it with your derm. Hindi lang pwede ikaw. But yes, I'm very happy for his results and tuloy mo lang yan. Okay, what's this? I fell asleep with this Never face. fall asleep with a face mask on. <clears throat> right, like a Parang glue yung binikit sa face niya. <laughs> I can't do it. Well, actually, okay. um, Ah, may hirap yata makatulog na may face mask ka, diba? Oh my God. Kasi parang una-una nakabatong siya sa face mo. But, um, I don't know. Nakakatawa lang siya kasi, alam mo what what it reminds me of. Nung bata pa ako, naglalagay ako ng glue sa mukha dati. Kasi sabi nila, diba, parang pag tinanggal mo yun, parang mask siya, diba? Or kahit dito, parang gano'n. That reminds me of it. But, honestly, I don't know what mask yung ginamit niya. Pero for me, you should definitely not sleep with your mask on. Kasi, Yung mga mask na yan, even if it's just hydrating, pag iniwan mo ng matagal, kasi nga may occlusive effect yung mask, may chance na may irritate ka. And syempre, pag nakapatong, hindi makahinga yung skin mo eh. So, I don't know what, what can happen after, but definitely not recommended. And nakakatawa lang siya kasi parang sakit na sakit siya, di ba? Parang nga siyang ano eh, alam mo yung nilalagay sa ilong, yung parang pore strips, tapos parang ginanon mo, ganun yung na-imagine ko. But, yeah, um, I don't think naman it's that painful. And na siguro maraming kang buhok, but yun. It's not something I recommend. Don't sleep with your mask on. Wow. Sobrang kapal naman ng pinagay niyo sunscreen sa mukha niya. Parang over naman yung nilagay niyo na sunscreen. But you know what? Actually, may naalala lang ako na kwento, no? Kasi dati yung husband ko ayaw niya talaga mag-sunscreen. Kasi, um, before, nung bata pa kami, I think yung binigay ko sa kanya yung physical sunscreen. And you know naman ako, physical sunscreens look very white, di ba? So, this is actually one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like putting on sunscreens. Kasi, nagmumukha silang, ano, Hulk daw. Sabi ng asawa ko, no, Ben, mukha naman ako si Hulk. Parang greenish yung tinge ng, ano. But, we're lucky because nowadays, marami ng sunscreens available in the market that are a mix of your physical and chemical sunscreens. 
and even some physical sunscreens na parang may nano, ano sila, nanotechnology or something na parang maliliit na yung particle sizes. So, they don't really have to worry about looking that white. Pero, I think that's a very funny way of putting it na parang kaya yung iba ayaw talaga nila mag-sunscreen kasi pwedeng ganyan yung insura nila. So, yung tip ko lang dyan is yung what guys, find the right sunscreen for you and itest mo bago mo bilhin. Kasi, importante talaga mag-sunscreen. So, there you have it, guys. Medyo, ano, ah, medyo iba yung uh, set natin ngayon ng mga reaction videos. It's a good mix, actually. Iba-iba. Pero sana may napulot kayo and sana I was able to, like, give some insights and answer maybe some questions you might have after watching those videos. So, guys, if you enjoyed it, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also turn on notifications. And also, guys, malapit na tayo mag-100,000 subscribers. So, please, 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 if you have any other um, topics you want me to talk about or like you know things that you want me to answer please feel free to message me or put them in the comments below i will really really appreciate it so till the next time guys bye see you